Hey, it's John of Chicago South, SEO and website services. Today I want to talk about backing up your website or your blog. Now you might be wondering what's the big deal about backing up my website or my WordPress blog? Well, it's this simple. Things happen. And the worst thing that can happen to you is that you lose your website through, un, un, some, through some unforeseen circumstance and that there was no backup for you to easily restore your website when you could have just had a backup and you could have easily restored in minutes. The beautiful thing about WordPress is that it allows you to install what are called plugins. Now plugins are basically just uh, little programs that run within WordPress they can be installed that provide additional functionality to WordPress such as being able to back up your WordPress website. The WordPress backup that I'm very high on is simply called Backup WordPress. We are going to go through the steps to get that plugin installed and we're going to also do a demo of how to do a backup. So why don't we do this? We're going to click on the plugins menu. We're going to come over and we're going to click on add new. Then in the search field, we're going to type in backup WordPress and we're going to search for this plugin. And this is one of the beautiful things about WordPress is that it allows you to search for a plugin simply within the software and the administration area itself. So we'll click on search plugins and it's going to come back with results. The plugin that we are interested in is called uh, Backup WordPress and there are a couple of things we can do right now. We can go ahead and we can install right now but I'm going to click on the details menu and it'll bring up a little information about the product itself. Um, the Backup WordPress plugin what it will do is it will back up your entire site including your database and all your files. You can do this once every day or you can set it at some other interval like uh, weekly or every two weeks or even monthly. Some of the features that are present in this particular plugin is, uh, is that it's super simple. It is really easy to use. I use it. I love it. Another option is that the WordPress black backup that you create can be mailed to you. It also works on Linux and Windows servers and you can also control what files to include or one, what files that you don't want. So what we're going to do now, this is we've decided that this is the plugin for us. The next thing we're going to do is install it. Another way we can install it is simply to click on the install now button right here. We'll click that and WordPress will install this plugin. Now the plugin has been installed. Now once a plugin has been installed, it's it now needs to be activated. And we can do this simply by clicking on the activate plugin link. So we'll do that. And this plugin has been installed. It's in your plugins area. It's been activated. Now what we want to do is we want to run a backup. Now there are a couple of ways we can do it. We can simply click on backup right here from the plugin itself or we can go to tools we can select backups which is what we're going to go ahead and do so we'll do that okay that will take us to the manage backup section and this is the section that you will be brought to to set up do the settings and to also execute your first backup now one of the things I like about this particular plugin is that it not only backs up your database but it backs up all of the files on your site. So in essence it backs up your entire site. It will back your the default settings will allow this plugin to back up your data to a location on the server that your website is sitting on or a server that your hosting company has directed it to. What it will also do is it gives you the ability to also email a backup copy to you or it allows you to take a backup and download it and you can store it on your hard drive or on an external hard drive. The next thing we want to do is go through the settings. One of the settings calls for automatic backups. Now we have the option to do an automatic backup or we can have it do no backup at all. We can execute it when we want to. We're going to leave it set at the default, which is backup my site automatically. The next thing we want to set is the frequency of backups. 
it allows you to run an automatic backup that will occur daily or weekly or fortnightly which is basically every two weeks or monthly we're going to select daily we'll just leave it at the default what it also gives you the option to do is it asks or it prompts you what to back up you can back up your entire website which is database and files or you can do your database only or you can do your site your website only which would be your HTML and your CSS and and, and a few other files um, we're just going to leave it at the debate default setting which is database and files it also gives you the option of changing how changing how long you keep backups in this case it's going to keep the last 10 backups stored on the server I normally change this to 7 but at this point I see no need to change that so we'll leave that at 10 I also mentioned that you have the ability to email a backup to you and you would simply just put in your email address in this field right here it also gives you the ability to exclude certain files so you would have to know those files list them out and then you would paste them in there once you had your settings all set up and you were comfortable with them you'd click save changes we don't need to do that because we didn't make any changes we can do one or two things at this point everything's set this would actually it looks like this backup would run at 11 o'clock tonight it would kick off the first backup or if you wanted to back up immediately you would just select backup now we're going to select backup now and we're going to allow it to run now this is going to run for a few minutes and we're going to pause right here in the video and we're going to come back when the backup is done okay we are back our backup is now done and as you can see if you read the message here it says one backup completed it gives us the date it gives us the time it also gives us the size of the file and we are now prompted with the option of doing two things we can delete it or we can download it we don't want to delete it because we just created it but we're also prompted to download it which basically means we can download a copy locally to our hard drives or to an external drive uh, but in this case we're not going to do either of these but also I wanted to mention once again that your backup has been stored in the cloud or on an online server or online directory that has been chosen by the your serving company so that's how you install backup WordPress that's how you run a backup using this plugin this plugin is easy to use and best of all it's free and it works this is John of Chicago South SEO and website services I hope this has been helpful that's all for now. Take care and have a great day.